You're still in champion select, right? Morgana's shield can easily stop the ADCs or herself from getting stunned, and she'll have enough time to cast it. Lulu and Janna's disengage make them great counters to Tarek, especially when it comes to team fighting. Other than that, Nami with her wave, Zyra with her root and ult, and Annie with her quick burst are other viable counters. Tarek's passive is triggered whenever he uses an ability, and it grants his next two auto attacks bonus things like more damage, reduces ability cooldowns, and each also grants a Q stack. His Q passively stores healing charges, and when activated will heal everyone near him and his mark champion in a small radius. How does he mark champions? With his W, he'll shield himself and an ally, marking him, and now every other ability he uses gets cast with his ally too. His E projects a beam on the ground that stuns after a brief delay. His marked ally has the ability to stun too. His ultimate takes 2.5 seconds to charge, but will grant another 2.5 seconds of invulnerability to anyone within its radius. Another cosmic radiance gets shined down upon the marked ally, granting the same effect too. Tarek's combo is as simple as can be. Shield, mark an ally in the forefront to a attempt to stun anyone who's trying to get away, and he can do the same for anyone who's chasing them. His ultimate is a complete teamfight changer though. Either kill those that are being hit by its effect within the two and a half seconds time frame, or run away. He'll either take exhaust or ignite, depending on how aggressive he's feeling, but exhaust being the more likely candidate. You can exhaust to counter his, or even ignite to deny his healing, if you want to be more aggressive, but either one is just fine. As for his power spikes, he's quite the interesting champion, maintaining his usability throughout the whole game because of his CC, ultimate, and global tankiness. Levels 3 and 6 are when you can most expect engages on his behalf, and be careful for those. Face of the Mountain grants his allies another shield, which many people forget to account for due to the fact that in low elo most people forget to use the item actives too. And thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, his engage depends very strongly on his ability to stun the damage dealer, kill him and squishy targets before his ultimate drops down, and finally run away or use the 2.5 seconds to position yourself better when his ultimate has been activated. Ultimately, don't forget to have fun doing it.